Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be reviewing It's Okay That's Love and oh my freaking goodness, I am crazy about this drama. I mean, for me to rewatch a drama again, it means I am really, really crazy about it. So, um, for those of you who watch my updates, you know that I said I was gonna review a new drama, start reviewing a new drama, and I didn't know which one to do, but oh my freaking goodness, I have decided on this. I was gonna do Faded to Love You, but since it's gone so far ahead, I decided to do It's Okay That's Love and everyone needs to go check it out okay like right now <laughs> it's that good but um, for those of you waiting for my Hotel King review I'm gonna watch it today tonight and train tomorrow so I'm gonna catch up this weekend and hopefully make it Sunday or this coming week but yeah I just wanted to tell you that <laughs> okay let's go to it's okay that's love let me give you, let me tell you a little bit of what it's about so basically it's a psychiatric um, medical romance kind of and it has <laughs> It has a little bit of violence in it, a little bit. It's not that serious, but it has a little bit of violence. I mean, when you deal with psychiat, um, okay, how do you place um, phrase that? When you deal with mental patients, um, patients that are mentally unstable, there's there tends to be a little bit of violence if they attack you. So yes, there's violence in it a little bit, but it's not that intense. All right, it started violently actually. How it started was that the main le main lead, Joe In Sung, who I. I love to pieces oh my freaking goodness <laughs> um joe in song um was was at a party he's an auto and his brother apparently got released from prison okay this is gonna contain spoilers his brother got released from prison and his brother came to attack him as his party and later on we found out that his brother attacked him because his brother feels he was the one joint song was the one that committed a murder that his brother was sent to prison for and he wasn't the one that committed the murder and so his brother was sent back to prison and then we find out that Gong Yeo Jin was a former fan of Jo In Song and she stopped being his fan because she felt he didn't write like he used to write before and so they met and they had the weirdest interactions ever at a TV show where he found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her but he didn't know that the guy was Gong Hyo Jin's boyfriend and so um, when they met he got attracted to her and when he got attracted to her he tried to make a move on her but he didn't succeed because she had her own boyfriend and so finally um his own girlfriend or his sex partner as you'll find out if you watch it because he called um she called him her sex partner his sex partner and his childhood friend um com what's the word came together i've forgotten the word but yeah they came together and conspired to steal his book so they stole his work and they betrayed him and when he found out that they betrayed him he felt sad about it and he decided to not um what's the word not sue them because of the relationship that he had with them in the past yeah so before he found out that um the his friend his childhood friend she um connived with the girl his sex partner to cheat on him he was um he had his house going through a renovation process so his friend suggested that he moves into gong Jin's house and so when he found out that it was gong Jin's house he decided to move into gong Jin's house because of the their meetings their previous meetings not just the one i told you there's another one which i don't want to talk about i want you to watch it yourself but yeah um so um, he moved into Gong Hyo Jin's house and he met Gong Hyo Jin's brother. I put, uh, I do this quotation marks because I'm not really sure he's her brother, even though they call each other the brothers and sisters. But yeah, and he moved into the house that she lives in with her, her brother, and her boss. And um, the reason why he could move into the house was because he's the owner of the house, actually. And apparently, he owns the hospital she works at too. If, I'm going by the story correctly. He owns the hospital, he owns he owns the house, and he owns somewhere else. I've forgotten where else, but he's stinkingly rich though. So he moved in there and she was shocked to see him. And then when he moved in there, one day during his welcome party slash them watching a soccer match, he let the cat out of the bag about the fact that Gong Hyo Jin's boyfriend was cheating on her with her friend. And so ever since um, the revelation, was revealed or the news was revealed Gyeongjo Jin 
had this anger in her towards him and so she stopped talking to him and she stopped having any type of relationship with him or like um being in the same place with him she didn't want to be in the same place with him she didn't want to see him and it was a collective decision not just her everyone in the house her and her brother who were both giving him the silent treatment so that's a brief rundown of what it's about there's more stuff that happened but i just didn't tell you that just to make sure that i summarize it real good i sum i make it really really short so you watch it and you you get more hyped about it but yeah all right so now let me talk about the drama as a whole what i felt about it oh my freaking goodness where have you been all my life okay this drama one thing i love about this drama is it's different it's it's so scattered you know when something's scattered and it doesn't make sense but then it's really really good that's what this drama feels like it has so many things going on that you can get slightly confused but then it's still a good story it's still really really good it's one of those dramas that i love also because it touches stuff that you don't see them touching in korean dramas and i feel they need to touch so, um, such topics just because such topics are very sensitive to the i believe korean public the um the public that watches korean dramas in korea like publics regarding mental health and um, pop, um topics regarding sexual orientations and stuff like that and just romance and sex as a whole so and suicide too so i like how um this drama went beyond um, the limitations and crossed the fence to do something different and talk about issues that actually go on in the country but most dramas don't um, talk about or address so I like how they're addressing that in this drama that makes it really really different so I like how they're addressing such issues and I love how in the beginning they gave us such a broad look broad look at the characters that you know there's more to them eg um jo in song right now i feel like each time he sees do i feel like do might not be real i feel like do might be just a fiction okay this is my conspiracy theory i feel like he actually did commit the murder that his brother blames him for committing but he doesn't remember because he locked it in a part of his mind and so do is the childhood him coming to the future and like um talking to him that's why he was remember when he was telling do about does your father still beat you up and they were um practicing the whole fighting stuff he if you look back at his past when he was talking with i believe his brother was talking with someone his brother was talking with someone or it was his childhood friend that was talking with someone i can't remember about how he was beaten in the past by his dad so that shows that um he is D.O. D.O. is him. That's what I feel. That he's D.O. and D.O. is him. But D.O. is a figment in his imagination of his past. That past that he loved. And that's why he doesn't remember that he committed the murder. And I feel like Gong Hyojin is the one that's going to help him realize all that. And another thing I love about this drama is the fact that Gong Hyojin realizes her problem. That she has a problem when it comes to relationships and attachments and, um, and um, sex and etc etc they were just freely talking about sex okay it felt like i was watching a need romance or something like that but yeah um i like how she understands her problem but yeah she doesn't want to solve her problem but at least she realizes that she has a problem and another thing that i loved in this drama is the fact that um he he doesn't he's different from every other male lead i've seen i mean which k drama have you seen that the girl pours a drink on the guy and the guy pours the drink back on her and he's like whatever i get you get too whatever i get from you i give it back to you so i love that scene that was my favorite scene i know some people didn't like it and they felt like um he was a jack or they might have felt like he's a jack for doing that but i thought that was awesome where do you see a k drama male lead like that that was so realistic because that's one thing i love about this drama how realistic it is because 
Seriously, in real life, if someone does that to you, there's a 90% chance you take your drink and pour it back on the person. So I love how that was so realistic. And the scene where they were watching the soccer game and they revealed the whole secret about um, um, who, her boyfriend cheating on her. I simply loved how, um, what's her name, the friend of Gong Jin handled the whole situation and finally revealed, yes, I love Opa, blah, 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 I love him first, first. That was extremely realistic because that's, those are stuff that happen in real life. So I love how this drama mixes realism, how mixes realism, everyday life and everything with um, unrealisticness but um, I love the realistic aspects of this drama that's one thing that I especially love about this drama and now the, let's talk about the music the music in this drama oh my freaking goodness it's 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 the it's one of the best I've ever seen ever it has the right music for everything and the music are just like typical K drama OSTs it's different it's no more American or other places songs that you know which makes it even more interesting and it's like so hype and I love how they brought a little bit of drifting into the whole um, drama which I haven't really seen in a K drama except for the popular U turn that they normally do but oh my freaking goodness the whole drifting thing was the most debug thing ever. I love that scene. I had to rewatch that scene like five times because it was just so awesome. I love drifting stuff and I feel like Korea should make their own Korea drift or something like that. Um, Fast and Furious. I just think it will be awesome. But yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes. So yeah, I love this drama because it has so many different aspects of different things that you'd naturally not see in a K-drama. And that makes it unique. So I feel everyone should go check it out because it's really, really interesting. Give it a chance. I know someone started it. I suggested some people to start it and they started but they weren't feeling it. Trust me, stay till the end. By the end of episode one, you will be oh crazy about it that's how this drama is so stick to it at least till episode one just keep remembering that deborah told you to stay till the end of episode one and then um before you give up on it but yeah i think everyone needs to go check this drama out it's really awesome i can't wait to start um episode by episode reviews of it it's gonna be so much fun i can just see it the chemistry is just crazy going to jean and join sun's chemistry is just crazy out of this world it's awesome i love your little interactions it's just ah, it makes me go crazy like lose my mind oh my freaking goodness i love this couple that kind of feel but yeah i think everyone needs to go check it out I can't wait to start my official reviews of it but yeah um go check it out and tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to share subscribe and keep being awesome beautiful people you are from me to you you know i've got something love for you